welcome to St. Columbus. My name is Mark Asman and I am the interim pastor here and I'm pleased to be joined by my good friend Paula Mint. Tonight is a contemplative form of worship modeled on the worship of the Taizé community in France. The music consists of repeated refrains so that we can let the words settle and sort of melt into our hearts. The bulletin is available on, your, on our website. Continuing to use the technology of live streaming to bring this service to you. Now we invite, invite you to enter into prayer in whatever way you're comfortable. Sing along, light a candle, listen, pray. Thank you for being with us. We'll begin after a moment of silence. Thank you. 
invoke as Father, the one who judges all people impartially according to their deeds, live in reverent fear during the time of your exile. You know that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. 
He was destined before the foundation of the world, but was revealed at the end of the ages for your sake. Through him you have come to trust in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Now that you have purified your souls by your obedience to the truth, so that you have genuine mutual love, love one another deeply from the heart. You have been born anew, not of perishable, but of imperishable seed, through the living and enduring word of God. On that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth 
who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it, just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah would suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening, and the day is nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed, and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was walking with us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road and how he had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread. Thank you. 
to begin a moment of silence. United in the hope and joy of the resurrection, let us pray for the church, the world, and all in need. Ever-present God, you make yourself known in the breaking of the bread and in the bonds of community. Reveal yourself to us in the faces of all we meet. Strengthened by your presence, let us boldly live out your good news. God of grace, Hear, Hear our, our prayer. prayer. As we know you in the breaking of the bread, we know you in the grains of the field and the flowing waters. Teach us to care for the earth you lovingly create. Strengthen those who safeguard threatened land and water. Bring relief to areas that are affected by severe weather and climate change. God of grace, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. You are the authority to whom we dedicate our lives. Help us keep the needs of those most vulnerable at the forefront of our community. Move us to care for any who are disregarded or oppressed. Bring peace to areas where there is bloodshed, especially our own country, Ukraine, Russia, the Holy Land, Iran, and Afghanistan. God of grace, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Mother in God, you feed and nourish those who hunger. Open the hearts of those who hoard resources and lead them to share your abundance. Bless St. Columba's Food Ministries, Food Share, and all who work to end food insecurity. We pray for anyone thirsting for you this day. God of grace, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. You pour out your love on those who are oppressed. Support and comfort anyone who is marginalized by gender or sexuality and those whose stories are not believed. Form our communities to listen faithfully and speak honestly in our relationships. God of grace, hear, hear our, our prayer. God of the living and the dead, we remember with thanksgiving all your beloved saints. As you have raised them to eternal life, abide with us in your promise of resurrection. God of grace, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray as Jesus taught us, saying, Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. Your, your will be done, be done on, earth on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread, bread and forgive us our debts, as, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Our debtors. And, lead and lead us not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the, power, the, and the glory, glory forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Risen Christ, we have the simple desire to welcome your love, little by little, a flame is kindled in the depths of our being. Fueled by the Holy Spirit, this flame of love may be quite faint at first. The amazing thing is that it keeps on burning. And when we realize that you love us, 
the trust of faith becomes our own song. Rejoicing in the victory of Christ's resurrection, we lift our prayers and praise, spoken and unspoken, to you, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. And now I invite you to light a candle to offer your own prayer of intercession. Reflect on what you have heard in scripture or in psalm or sing along during the meditative songs. Amen.
thank you for being with us this evening. May God's blessing of love be on you this season of resurrection, this Easter season. Thank you for being with us.